Hi guys, you welcome to the sixth model of this particular weather application in which we'll be talking about the recycler view and we'll be adding a forecast adapted Java class. Uh, moving straight to the source file, still continuing from where we stopped, what about we got to polish uh, some of the uh, code uh, in which we added the error messages, uh, we show the weather data view and we integrate uh, the progress bar. We'll be moving uh, a step further by creating a forecast adapter Java class. Right there in the forecast adap adapter, uh, this extends the recycler view, uh, which is the adapter itself. And we're passing the forecast adapter view order. You know, uh, what about we need to uh, use this? Uh, we create a private string array called the mweather data. Uh, and uh, also, we have uh, the forecast adapter constructor, you know, uh, whereby we're going to pass in parameters uh, in the later uh, lessons. Uh, we create a class within forecast adapter called the forecast adapter view order, which extends the recycler view order. And within this uh, forecast adapter, we're going to create a public final text view variable called the mweather text view. I uh, will also create a constructor for this particular uh, class, uh, which is uh, actually, which accepts view as a parameter, uh, as you've seen here, uh, which calls onto the super view, uh, that's a super class. And we're using the view find by ID, uh, which is the TV weather data from the XML. And uh, we're referencing it to this layout text view and uh, save it to the M weather text view uh, variable or object, anyone you feel like using. So within this focus adapter, we're going to still do some things here a little bit later. Now we override the uncreate view order, and within the uncreate view order, uh, we inflate the list adapter. You know, uh, we have the focus adapter view order. You no, know, this is to the uncreate view order that we inflated, and we're going to return a new focus adapter. Uh, what about you know, we, we, what about we're going to actually uh, get a context? You know, we have the view group, you know, get a context, and we have the layout ID list item. You know, it's like uh, porting the list item to the recycler view. The recycler view is just the, uh, the added uh, uh, functionality to a list view. You know, a list view has been actually, should I say, it's been no, I won't say it's been deprecated because it's too. Uh, used out there, but uh, it's no more in, in fashion anymore. Uh, we've actually moved to a circular view to actually handle your list item. Uh, we call on the layout, uh, the focus list item, and we have the inflator that I talked about earlier, and we have the boolean should attach to parent immediately. No, is it a true or false? This should be false at this moment. Uh, we also have the inflator, the layout ID for list item. Uh, so we passed in this boolean should attach to, par to parent immediately and we return the new focus adapter view order passing the view at this parameter now let's get to look at the unbind view order uh this is going to going to set the text of the text view to the weather for this list item position so unbind view order is called by the recycler view to display the data at the specified position you know in this method we're going to update the content of the view order to display the weather details for this particular position using the position argument that is conveniently passed into this. Uh, so we have the forecast adapter view order, and we have the position. Uh, what about we have the weather for this day? You know, that's a string. And we passed in the M weather data. The weather data, uh, array string over here. Um, I'm passing in the position at this parameter to search for that. And the forecast adapter view order, you know, this should be updated to represent the contents of the item at the given position in the data set. Uh, the position of the item within the adapter's data set. I uh, set the text to the weather for this particular day. We have the get item count method. So there's, a, there's an if statement there. If null uh, equals to the m weather data, it returns zero, or else, you know, it's going to return the m weather data length. Uh, we have the set weather data, you know. Uh, this method saves the weather data to the M weather data. Okay. 
uh after you save the mweather data you're going to call the notified data set changed you know method over here notified data set changed and um uh, this method is actually used to set the weather forecast on a forecast adapter now if we've already created one this is handy when we get a new data from the web but don't want to create a new forecast adapter to display it uh the new weather data is displayed below which we've seen the set weather data the string array passes the weather data parameter and we call on the notified data set change that's cool we'll be moving straight to the next module where we'll be talking about uh the recycler view click handling you know this is just a mere list you have to have a click on each uh list item so stay tuned